right, welcome back guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to Magical Diary Horse Hall. Now, right, I've been reading, um, or started reading the Zodiac the Zodiac Academy words. Um, so, I'm pretty excited to get back into this magical world of magicalness. Um, last time we had a date with Damien, which didn't turn out to be a date and I think I did something wrong. But we will make him love us by the end of it. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Anywho. Let's jump right into it with two feet and something. Two feet, four arms, who knows? Right, okay, let's do it. Let's see that transition there. That was, that was smooth, wasn't it? I don't have any transitions, but that was smooth. Right. Uh, low game. We'll soon be um, up to par with my uh, other game. I did, yeah, yeah, okay, we are. Uh, right, let's go to the mall. I can't remember what we were doing. Let's go to the mall. Okay, what shall I do today? I don't know. What shall we do? Um, let's have a look at in here to see if glasses. Oh, they give us five smarts. No, we're gonna save because I don't know fairy wings. Oh, they give us cute plus ten. Amulet. Black magic. Oh. Um, you know what? We're gonna... We're gonna buy some glasses. I purchased the glasses. In order to gain the benefits of your item, you'll have to wear it. You can access the equipment screen to change what you're wearing at the end of the week. Oh. Didn't know that. I finished my shopping and joined my fellow students return to Iris Academy. Boom, boom. Okay, do we all have... <coughs> not sneezes, that's not what we want. Do we all have our morning brew? Do we all have it? Because if you don't, pause it and go, and get, go get yourself a brew. Whether it's a coffee, whether it's a tea, and we're pushing the bar with a hot chocolate. Whatever it is, just go. Just go, be cool. It's all nice and chill. I've got my little owl coaster, it's so cute. Right, I'm also ready to go out on here so we're knocking on the door. I'm coming already. Oh, hello. Hello, kind sir, how are you? Hello, David, hi. My roommate, my roommate just got a new set of flower stones, so he gave me his old ones. I thought I might teach you to play if you're interested. Actually, I was just on my way to sports club meeting. Oh. I'd rather spend time with you though. I can go to sports club any day. I'd rather spend time with you. No, we made him blush. So where should we play? It doesn't take much space. We could do it here in the hall. Or I could invite him into my room. Alone in a bedroom with Damien. Yes. Uh, the hall's fine. No! Have a seat. Oh, God damn it. I took my robes under me and sat on the floor. Damien follows suit with a little more shifting to get his wings out of the way. He pulls out a small wooden box with floral patterns across, carved across the top. Opening it, he takes out a handful of flat grey pebbles, each slightly wider than a quarter, and sets them on the ground between us. Six pebbles, four of which are flowers painted on them. No, he's turning the others over. All of them have flowers on one side and a blank on the other. The box is still half filled with playing pieces, but these are different. They are little gold and silver ingots, like a pirate doll's treasure, and a plump stone figure with a pointy hat. This is a basic set that doesn't use buds. It's simple. You gather the stones together, shake, and toss. He scatters the pebbles and they come up three blank, three flowered. No points for me. Then it's your turn. If you get five or six of the same kind, then you win points, and you get to throw again. So it's just luck. For us, it is. Masters play, is, play a different game, where the stones can stay in the air for a set time to be adjusted by magic before they fall. But you're not ready for that. Go on, roll the stones. I toss the pebbles, but get the same result he did. We go on like that. I get lucky and throw two fives in a row, earning two gold and two silver bars. But Damien does the same shortly afterwards, and he's the first to throw all six same side up. Eventually, we run out of treasure, and as the last 
to take a piece, I receive the gnome. Now what? We count them up? Now comes the tricky part. We throw the stones again, but now when you win a hand, you take the treasure from the pile you've won already and put it either in your vault or your bill. Treasure in the vault counts towards winning the game, but treasure on the bill means the other player has to lose twice that value when we make the final tally. So what's the gnome for? If you have the gnome, then if you lose the final tally, you get to roll the stones three more times and steal any treasure you win from the other player. This has gotten all complicated. This is the easy version. We play for a while, engrossed in the click of stones against the floor, until... Ahem. Uh, hi. You're in my way. Hi, right, bitch. I scooch out of the way and let her through to our room. Is everything alright? Oh, she's just in a bad mood. You will tell me if something were wrong, wouldn't you? Huh? If that girl has threatened you... Threatened me? Well, her family. You've got the wrong idea. I mean, Donald gets her mad and she's never tried to beat him up. That you know of. Well, my apologies then. Still, I think perhaps I should go. Well, it was nice seeing you. And you. Goodbye. Love you. Miss you. I. Uh, just go next week. Okay, is there going to be another exam next week before the Christmas break? Oh, more exams? I don't think so. We just had one. But well, it's the end of the semester. Shouldn't that be a final? How do we get our grades? Huh, that's the good thing about magic school. No grades. Oh. But wait, Hogwarts had grades. If you're still here and the professors aren't breathing uh, dem demerits down your back, you're doing fine. Anyway, I need to set my schedule for the week. That we do, more blue magic for us. Nice. Cloak. Um, cast alters air visual projections becoming difficult to see for a short period of time. Ooh. That's a new one. Like, I've never actually got any magics up to this level before, so this is fun. We are called together in the gym, and I wonder if Virginia was wrong about there not being any more exams. Good morning, my sprites. As you know, the winter solstice is fast approaching. At the end of the week, many of you will be leaving us for the Christmas holiday. But before that, we have much to celebrate. If you'll each please come up here and reach into this bowl for a piece of paper. That name will tell you who your secret Santa for. It will be your job to find a gift for the person you think suits them. Keep your name secret until after the gifts are delivered next week. I make my way to the stage to draw a name. I'll be Santa for Virginia Dancer. Damn it. Hmm, I wonder if Professor Potsdam is playing fair with these selections. Oh well. Nice, we're almost at 100 then we can we can make the make the room do things. I wake up early in the morning. If this even counts as morning, it's still dark outside. I'm not sure why. Was I dreaming? Was there a sound? Was there a reason I needed to get up? And then I remember the date. I go back to sleep, it right. There's no reason for you to make a fuss about it, so I go back to bed. It's too early to be awake. On Saturday morning, the mail and allowances are delivered. We've just had a Friday the 13th. There's a large note stuck to the top of the, to the, top of the pile of mail. Snow. More trips cancelled. Damn it. It's like England. The slightest bit of, bit of snow and everyone loses the red. It's like, oh god. Cancelled, but shopping. How are we supposed to buy presents for Secret Santa? I guess if I prefer, 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 Professor at Potsdam will have to think of something. Since I can't go out, what should I do today? Eh, yeah, relax. Be right. With nothing else to do, I decide to wander around the school and unwind. Maybe I'll find someone else playing a game and be able to join in. So I walk. Oh! <laughs> Bye, have a great time! What was that? Did somebody just run past me? I tilt my head back and listen for the sound of footsteps. That way! Big Steve is standing just in front of Isabel's door. He's not doing anything, just standing there. He shakes his head, then takes off running again. Naruto running! 
I decide to jog along after him. What are you doing? Chasing. Chasing what? The ball. What ball? I cast a quick tree size ball just to be sure, but I don't see anything. Suddenly he bends his knees and tumbles along the halls in a forward somersault, landing in a crouch. He whips his head back and forth. I whip my hair back and forth, looking both directions, and takes off running again, even faster than before. I speed up and... Oh no, not again. Um, It would appear, Miss Stream, that you are a slow learner. Damn it. Ten demerits for running in the hall and risking injury to others. That's completely unfair. Yes, sir. Why does this keep happening to me? This wasn't a relaxing day at all. I'm gonna need some tea. Hail, choir of angels. Oh, God. Choirs. I suppose it's seasonally appropriate, but still. I know you're all disappointed that this weekend's weather prevented the usual shopping trips. So I've decided on a little change to this year's Secret Santa event. Something to show the triumph of imagination and goodwill over money. Something to use your creative minds. And your hands. Ew, Damien. Hello, Damien. We're going to make presents. We're going to make Christmas cards. And close enough. I brought in construction paper, glue, glitter, crayons, scissors, and a collection of expired magazines. That bring back memories. You can cut out pictures of things you think your person would like to have or be. Isn't it the thought that counts? And to help nurture your feelings of creativity and fun, all classes today are cancelled. I'm bringing pizza in for lunch. Enjoy! Aren't we a bit old for collages? I suppose it's an okay way to, it's an okay way to spend one day. What? Alright, so I need to make a giant card. What colour should the backing paper be? Oh. Um. Purple. A nice dark purple. It's not the colour people would expect for a Christmas card, and that makes it more interesting. Then comes the question of what to decorate it with. It's for Virginia, so it ought to have... Um... Cakes, cakes and puddings and pies and all sorts of nice treats. There should be plenty of pictures of those in holiday magazines. All right, so I've got that there. Pots of glue here. Spread a little get it there, and half of it ends up on my robe, of course. But that's okay. There's nothing wrong with being sparkly. Unless you're a vampire, this is sort of fun. All around me, the gym is filling with witches and wizards, both busily cutting and pasting. There's going to be such a mess to clean up later. I wonder which of them is making something for me. Once all the cards have been made and the pizza is cleared away, it's time to deliver our creations. I find Virginia and hand her my card. Make his mess! She grins at the card and pretends to lick the pictures of food. I am a girl of simple appetites. Simple? Some of the desserts are complicated. Then Ellen approaches me with a card. I knew Potsdam rigged the drawer somehow. Make his mess! It's... A library? It's a chamber of secrets. God. Books and scrolls and magic and everything that we need to learn because we're wild seed. Thanks. That's actually really cute. I like that. So I need to decide what I'm doing for the rest of the week since yesterday turned into a crafting party. Boom. Right, that should now do us for blue magic if we're smart. I guarantee it's going to end on like nine, like 99, isn't it? If it does as well, I'm going to be so mad. So, the chorale concert is tonight. Should we go? Helen's singing, right? Yeah, but so is Donald. Is it free? I'm a sucker for free things. Yeah, it's just a school thing, so there's no tickets to buy. Well, let's go then. It's free after all. Oh, I've missed my birthday! That was... Oh, I missed my own damn birthday. The concert is held in the gym. The chorale, chorale, the cho choir members, co co yeah, parade in carrying candles and stand on the stage, holding hands while they sing. They do some Christmas carols, carols, but also plenty of songs I've never heard. Afterwards, there are free, free refreshments, which makes Virginia happy. 
I still don't understand why there's two beds and only like there's two beds and three of us. Oh, I'm so close. And so my first semester of witchery school comes to a close. Professor Potty has called us together for a final blessing before we go back to our parents for the holidays. Hello, my young students. The tradition of Christmas is one of giving and sharing. Most of you who are returning to your homes will be exchanging gifts and spending time with friends and family. But while you are gone, do not forget who you are. Do not forget all that you share with your brothers and sisters in magic. I have a special gift for you. A tingle of magic sweeps over us, leaving no visible change in its path. Think of those you care about. Think of a person who matters to you. If the person you choose is thinking of you as well, you will feel that connection, that affection being shared. I'll leave you to your thoughts. Think of someone I care about. Professor Grabby! My parents, Ellen, Virginia, Damien, Donald, Grabby, no one. Well, we're going so, technically, it should be my parents, because, you know, I love my parents, but Damien's got wings. Damien's face springs into mind. I can't help thinking about him. And I don't know what I was expecting, but crazy as it, crazy as it sounds, I can feel him smiling at me. Of all the people in his life, I'm the one he's thinking about. I know it. Professor Potty climbs back onto the stage and claps her hands. Have a happy Christmas, everyone. We'll see you in two weeks. Bye. Oh, look at the Christmas tree. Look at how cute. Merry Christmas, guys. Happy Halloween. <laughs>